we've been working hard on story problems, especially involving multiplication and division. There are some different types of story problems that we've been focusing on. First, deciding, are we using multiplication or division to solve? Is it an array, repeated groups, or an area problem? With well, this problem, students in Ms. Steck's class hung their projects on the wall. They made four rows with five project, projects in each row. How many projects did the students hang? Well, if you have four rows and five in each row, that gives me a clue that I'm going to be multiplying, not dividing out into groups. The next clues I have are rows and some in each row. That tells me right there that it's an array. This array can be represented like this. I have four rows, one, two, three, four rows that go this way. And then there are five in each row. Three, four, five. That can also be considered five columns. Well, you can either count each individual dot or do four times five. If you're not sure what four times five is off the top of your head, again, you can count all the dots or count by fives four times or count by fours five times. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20. So the answer to this one are 20 projects were hung. And it's a multiplication problem and array. You can also do a quick array. A quick array with that same problem, instead of doing all the dots, would be your four rows, five in each row, and then your answer of 20 in the middle. That's a quick array instead of writing all the dots.